Hi, it's Tessa. I'm here today with my mini happy planner. I have not used this at all yet. I just took the little cardboard thing off of it and I am going to do a small plan with me. I haven't even decorated for January, but I do have a kit from Peppermint Planner, but I'm going to save that for a different plan with me. But I am going to decorate this upcoming week from Monday, December 26th through New Year's Day. And let me zoom in some so we can see what's going on here. I did not buy a kit for this. So I just decided to use a printable, which I have never... I've used printable stickers before, but I've never done a plan with me with printables. I just sat down and hand cut <laughs> these stickers. Now, I got these from Life in Print's blog. But when I printed them out, they are a tad short, as you can see. Can you see that? But we're going to make it work because it's a printable. We're just going to go with it. Um, it was free. And I wanted to show you guys that you don't have to buy kits all the time. It's nice to just, you know, do something different. So I thought, well, I'll use these printables. And uh, that way some people don't have the money or can't afford to buy a kit that you can use a free printable that you find online. Her blog is offers free printables. And I just have that Digi Orange Cheapo paper from Amazon. And we're going to go with it. So we're going to start with Monday. And like I said, I just hand cut all these and we're going to put them down. And I've never planned in a little happy planner before. My cutting probably isn't the straightest, but that's okay. I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to, as I pick these up, put them on whatever date they go on. These also come with the free print files, so if you're having trouble, um, if you're not having trouble, if you're wanting to print them out that way, and you have a silhouette of some sort or whatever, you can totally print them out like that. So, hopefully when I put these full boxes down, they cover the end of this a little bit so it's not sticking out, but if not... New problem. This is cute. So I am using this planner for 2017 as my social media calendar because I do PR for a couple shops and I make YouTube videos and I'm active on Instagram. Um, so I thought, oh, I cut that real straight, didn't I? So I thought it'd be really nice to have this as a social media calendar because right now I'm using my personal size recollections and I'm not using it. I'm just, I'm just not, I'm not using it. So I'm going to try this route and see how that goes. And then the other dilemma I'm having, because as planner people, we all have planner problems and I will show you if I'm not sure if I want to leave this with just this cover or if I would like to take my beautiful blue recollections planner and rip out the rings. This right now is my social media planner. I'm just not using it that way. But that blue one is so pretty and I don't know if I really want to rip the rings out of that. I might, I'm going to Michael's Monday morning. I'm not going to jump the gun, even though I feel like I want to. But I'm not going to. I'm going to wait and go to Michael's. See what colors they have there on Monday morning. And I might just buy a different planner because that blue is so pretty. And my concern is what if they don't make a happy planner again next year? Or what if they change the design? And then I rip out the rings of that blue one that I love so much. And after that, it'll be junk. So I don't know if I want to go that route with the blue one. I think I'm just going to get a different one because the blue is so pretty. And I'm just worried that they might not sell this anymore or they won't sell the blue one anymore. And then I'm stuck. So I'm going to skip that. Let me throw away my trash because as I'm doing this, I'm going to have a bunch of trash. Okay, so that's down. Looks cute. And then we have the box that goes right here. 
but I'm going to put this little black. I don't know what some of these strips are for. There was this one, this one, and this one. That might, I don't know where all this stuff goes. But I'm going to put down this little black strip underneath this gold. So I'm going to do that next. And hopefully I don't run out of time. I'm not quite sure why these weren't cut right. And then I think I'm going to put this down after that. Well, yeah, maybe. Oops. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. Okay. Um, I was shocked when I brought this planner home and realized it was dated. I had no idea that I bought a dated one, which is fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, so stick this little box down here, and I'm going to put it closer to the top just so it covers that little gap like that. Okay, then we have all these little boxes, which are going on next. And I kind of laid them out earlier just to see how they would look. And I have a little weekend banner that I fussy cut around. There was no way I was going to spend six hours trying to cut that stupid thing out. Okay. Here we go. This one has 2017 on it. I put it on New Year's Day, which is Sunday. Hmm. I think I want to put this, ah, come off. Okay. I'm going to put it up closer to the top on here too, just so there isn't that gap. I mean, it really should be lower, but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to go with it. All right. These are so cute. Okay. And then the countdown one. So tell me what you're using your planners for for 2017. If you have your lineup fixed or set up, I'm using the Happy Planner. I'm using, I'm going to sit down since uh, my back's hurting. Um, <clears throat> I'm using the Happy Planner and I'm using my Recollection Spiral for sure. I have to trim this box because it has little dots on it on the side. I didn't cut it quite straight. A TN for everyday carry and my A5 for a memory planner and um, monthly view on my desk. I think that's everything. And a personal, but not for planning, just to keep notes and stuff in. I'm going to do that. This is super cute. I like the script on here too. It's really pretty. I'm just off camera here trying to get the backs off of these stickers because I have to take the back off of each one. And some of them have like a little fold line and some don't. So it all depends on which one you pick up. I think these go like party hats. This way. That is really cute. Okay, then we're going to do the little weekend banner. Just got to pull the back off of that. I'm kind of like talking low because my husband's taking a nap like he usually does. Where are you supposed to put this thing at? Right here? Yeah, we'll put that right there. Okay, and then I have these I'm not going to use. I have some, I came with some half boxes. Some little half, oh, no, those are headers. Half boxes. Three half boxes. I'm going to lay those here. 
came with headers, which I didn't cut apart. Quarter boxes, habit trackers, half boxes, checklists, and then some functional icons. So let me see. Do we want to put checklists down? They'd be cute, huh? Let me cut them apart. Because it would be cute. Do I need... I don't know. It's kind of cute just blank. What's going to happen is I'll put the checklist down and then I'll have way too many things on each page. So I actually think I'm not going to use any more of this kit. I think I'm just going to let it go because... It is a social media calendar, and I don't need all that stuff on there. And then I'll end up filling it up with all these stickers, and I won't have any room to write. Because I have to write Instagram on here and YouTube. So I may split these all in half. Like that. So I can write Instagram and YouTube on each side. I'm thinking. But yeah, that is everything. Head on over to... I think it'll probably bother some people that I never even took this out of the planner, but that's okay. Head on over to Life in Print and print out her kits. She also has, I printed out another one too, because I was on a roll. So I printed out this weekly set while I was at it. So that's really cute. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I did print it out. Um... But yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.